Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm so excited to be back here with you today and I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by for a visit. Today I'm sitting out by Washita River. Elijah and I decided to just pick up some lunch and bring out here and enjoy lunch sitting outside by the river and then I decided um, that I should just bring my crate of uh, finished projects and make a video while we're sitting here today. So um, here I go. Elijah's off to the side here going to hand me the projects um, so I don't have to bend over and get out of camera. So um, I have a lot of projects here that I've been working on off and on while I haven't been on YouTube. So this is one of my projects. It is a roll of toilet tissue that I crocheted and actually it is a um, it's a scarf with the core on it and the rest of it is a scarf. I did this in um, you know in honor of the great toilet tissue crisis that we've had. Thankfully our stores are um, stocking toilet paper again you know able to put it on the shelf and have some on the shelf but um, it was like an egg Easter egg hunt there for a while trying to locate toilet tissue. <laughs> so that's one of my projects and if we are able to have a fair this fall I plan to enter this into crocheted scarf. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to have a fair or not. I mean I'm kind of iffy if we are because um, you know just everything going on but I did look it up and usually our fair is in September and I did see that they have um, postponed it and said it would be in October so I don't know if we're gonna have one or not but I'm still making projects to enter into the fair and if I get to I get to if I don't I don't um, I guess I'll save the projects till the next fair because the um, rules state it has your project has to be made since the last fair and so even if we don't have one this year and we have one the following year it would have been made since our last fair <laughs> So that's my first project. Thank you, Elijah. Oh, and this is a little project I made um, just because, no, not for any person or any reason, just because to see if I could do it. But I made this little baby um, jacket here, and it just turned out sweet as it could be. Uh, I do want to get some buttons and maybe put right here about three little buttons. I haven't done that yet because I'll need to go to Hobby Lobby to get buttons but I made this um, I didn't have a pattern I saw a picture on Pinterest and um, it was just a you know a flat picture like this and so I thought oh I want to make that it's cute and so I just took some um, just made some granny squares and I think I made um, 12 yeah 12 granny squares and I just made four for the back and then I added, um, you know, one arm and one arm. And then on the front, I made the two here and one for the arm and sewed those together. And the same thing on the other side. So, um, that's just a cute little baby jacket. And I just used, um, the yarn I used on this was just um, something I had in my stash. I don't even know if it had, oh. Uh, if all of them even have wraps, they were um, not Karen one pounders, but something else. It's a pound of love or something like that. So it's um, kind of soft for a baby. But anyway, um, and I had I had home. I have note cards and the labels of that goes to the yarn that I used on these projects. But of course, I didn't bring that with me today. Um, so I'll just have to kind of wing it. <laughs> oh, and um, one day I just um, decided to make this feather. And I used Holly from the Proper Pineapples video to make this. And so I thought it turned out really nice. I like feathers. I'll probably be making some more to um, create something. This is the back side, I guess. And this is the front side. And I thought it turned out really cute. So... I might make some kind of wall hanging to enter in the fair 
and make some more of these to um, add on it. But it turned out great, and I will try to remember to leave a link to this video. But if I do forget that, it is um, by Holly the Proper Pineapple. I mean, her name, the name of her channel is the Proper Pineapple. Oh, and here is uh, just a Christmas dish towel that I made, or hand towel, something like that. Um, and I used the sugar and cream from like Michael's or either Hobby Lobby's Crafter's Secret Cotton. Um, so anyway, it's just a Christmas time towel, dish towel, hand towel, something uh, for the kitchen or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, and um, how I got into making the hand towels was I, <coughs> excuse me, I needed a new hand towel for my bathroom, and my bathroom is gray and yellow, um, decorated with, um, like, sunshines, not sunshine, sunflowers, but on the back of my door, it does say, the back of the bathroom door, it does have, you are my sunshine lyrics, um, on the door. So, anyway, I needed a gray hand towel, and I have bought two gray hand towels at Walmart, just the cheap, um, hand towels, nothing fancy about them, but um, then I could never find them after I got home with them, and I don't know what happened to them, so I decided to, um, oh, then I went to Walmart, and I was going to buy a hand towel, and then I decided, oh, I should get yellow, I always get gray, but my bathroom is yellow and gray, so I thought, well, I'll get some yellow, and they didn't have gray or yellow, matter of fact, they didn't have much of anything, so um, then I decided that, hey, I could just make some, you know. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So I made this hand towel for my bathroom with gray and yellow. <coughs> and I varied this up and made several different ones. This, I did use the um, cotton. I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. And I did not use a particular pattern on this. I just started with a, a chain of maybe like 48, 46 or something like that. And then I did, um, I think I rotated every other row half double crochet and every other row double crochet. So anyway, that's one of the hand towels from my bathroom. And then, um, I made this little um, hand towel for my friend Angela because her kitchen is green. So, um, and this was made with the Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. And same thing on this. I did, um, on this one I think I did every row double crochet. Yeah, every row of this is double crochet. I mean, no pattern, just kind of made it up, winged it as I went along. Okay, and then here's another hand towel I made for my bathroom, which is yellow with the gray stripes, just to have a change up for the bathroom. And this is the I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. And so when I, this I did every other row half double crochet and every other row double crochet. And then they had this yellow and gray variegated at Hobby Lobby of the Crafter's Secret. And so I got um, two balls of it and made this hand towel. And it looks like this one is every row double crochet. You know, like I said, I didn't have a pattern or anything. I think I found a chain like... 46 or 48 I can't remember actually like I said I didn't bring my notes but um I thought that was pretty for a change up in the bathroom okay and then I have this was made from this is like a washcloth or a dishcloth and um this was made from a little dollop I'm pretty sure 
So this looks like every other row is half double crochet and the other rows are double crochet. So that's a pretty little, um, I'll probably use this as a dish rag. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then somewhere along the line, I got on the kick of these little um, washcloths or dishcloths to wash dishes with. And this I used um, two strands of the Secrets Choice, Secrets Crafters. Is that what you call it? Crafter Secret. I may be saying that wrong the whole time. The Crafter Secret from Hobby Lobby, that cotton, the little bitty balls you can get. Um, for this, I used two strands, a strand of red and a strand of green, and um, single crochet, the whole thing. And I think I might have did like, maybe about 18, a chain of 18 to start out with, and then just single crochet the whole thing until it made a square. Um, and folding it over to see that it did make a square and then I just stopped and so that's what I did on each one of them so they all might be off a row or two <laughs> and here I did a green and white one where's the is there another Christmassy looking one yeah there's a red and white in there and then hand me that oh, Christmas just just towel again Um, so I had actually made this as a set to have the dishcloth and then three dish rags to go with it. So we have the red and green, green and white, and red and white. So I thought that would make a good, great gift set for someone come close to Christmas time. And then for spring colors, um, I used this right here that is a little ball of that cotton at Hobby Lobby. And I guess it's the crafter's secret. Now I'm second guessing myself because I can't even think. And then another one that's just a um, turquoise and white. And then I was going to make some fall colors. So I made the orange and brown. And a green and brown. All right, thanks, Elijah. This is a little pouch I made, and I really shouldn't show it yet because I forgot to grab some ribbon. Oh, my back is killing me. <laughs> um, I forgot to grab some ribbon. Ribbon. I made this. I didn't have a pattern. You can see um, I left spaces in there to run some ribbon and to tie it up so it would cinch up the bag, like a little gift bag. Um, I used Red Heart yarn on this. Oh, it's a variegated color, and I don't really know the name of that color. But my plan was to run a ribbon through it and make it a little gift sack. But um, I haven't got out my ribbon yet. I have to get it out of a certain drawer that I haven't made it to yet. <laughs> oh, and then I just had some projects that um, I was trying to just... Uh, when I was going through some projects, there was a couple that were just almost finished. And so I just finished off this hat, which is way too hot here to even think about hats or even want to make hats. But um, I had this hat made, and so I just needed to cinch up the top. And so I did that real quick and then threw it in my finished box. But I do love this colorway, and this hat is for me for next winter. And then I made this little hat here. Like I said, it just needed cinched up at the top. And so that's what I did to make this little hat and these are made this is made with um all red heart yarns the hat i was just holding is made with um the i love this yarn in canyon i love that print of that hat the way it prints up there and then this is just i love this yarn in gray so another little project that i have is and I'm not I'm not quite sure on this, so y'all you guys can help me out. I have a little great niece coming um, any day now. She will be here. Um, well, she could come any day. The doctor said she is knocking on the door. She's in the right position and dropped and everything. But the problem is she they estimate her to only weigh a little over three pounds, and so she's going to be a tiny broomie. And so. Um, 
I made this little bitty creamy hat for her. And so, you know how to, nowadays people like big old headbands, headbands with big old bows and flowers on them and stuff. So I made this little flower to go on here, but it's almost as big as the hat. So I hadn't sewed it on yet because I'm not sure. Should I add the flower on? It would kind of be like this, off to the side and up a little. So you guys can decide. Flower, no flower, add something else. Um, I know my nieces, both of them, you know, like to put on, put headbands on their children, their girls, and, you know, big bows and big fluffy things on their headbands and stuff. So that's why I thought the big flower might go, but then I second guessing myself and I'm not sure. But anyway, our little baby Hazel Inez will be here soon, so I need to decide so I can get that fixed. And then I also made this for baby Hazel, but um, I haven't made it to Hobby Lobby to get the buttons. And this was made with um, Flamingo Red Heart yarn, and this is... It would go something like this. It's going to be too big for our Hazel now that we know she only weighs three pounds. Um, we're hoping that she would gain to over four and even closer to five pounds before she comes. But um, because of some health issues my niece has, they will not let her go off of 30, over 35 weeks. So um, that's pretty soon. Like I think she's 33 weeks this, this week. But anyway, on Repeat Crafter Me, I had made looked and saw this pattern and made this little jumper but I need to go to Hobby Lobby to get buttons for it but I'm not really in a big hurry because it's going to be way too big for baby Hazel but it is such a sweet little outfit um, I might make something let me see that flower Naja. I would need to probably make it in different colors but I might make something to go on the front right there like a flower would probably be cute huh so I might add something like that. But anyway, this was Repeat Crafter Me on her blog. You can find that. Alright, so another project that I've made for to enter into the fair, and it does kind of match my dining room also, because my dining room is gray and turquoise with a few other colors kind of mixed in. But I've made a set of placemats of um a set of four. I only got three right here. But, um, <laughs> it is a round circle placemat. And then I took the white cotton and just went around and put a single crochet border. But this pattern is actually by, um, <clears throat> it's on Krista, the Secret Yarneries, for, um, a baby blanket. And so I only did ten rows and made the, um, stopped at ten rows to make placemats to enter into the fair. So anyway, I think those would be a great project. We have to enter four, and I only have three here. I don't know if the other one got set aside at the house, because there was a few items laying on top that Elijah had to move to get the box. So anyway, um, and I made these with sugars and cream from Mark Michaels, and I think the color was Seaside. Elijah, you picked out the color. Do you remember what it was called? No. I believe it was called Seaside, but I could be wrong on that. But anyway, um, that's what I used. All right, and this is also a project that I made for Baby Hazel. And it is a blanket. It's folded in half here. And this is made with color me easy yarn that I had got from Michaels a while back like as soon as they put it on the shelf they went ahead and clearanced it to like $3.97 and so actually this is the front side so um, I made this these squares and then I went around I connected them all with gray I whip stitched it to connect them with gray and then I went around with the purple, green, and pink, and then another row with a gray to put a border around it. 
But anyway, I hope that my niece will like this. It's, it's a pretty big blanket, so it's not just baby size. Here, this is the length. That's the length of it. And this is the width. So I thought, um, you know, as a baby, she might could just layer on it on the floor to have tummy time or something. Or, and I guess I just rubbed all over this microphone with that, so I'm so very sorry. I just realized I'm not used to wearing a microphone and I <laughs> was throwing projects all over it. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, and so the last project I'm going to show you is not crochet, but it's just something that um, I decided to give a hand. I was looking through our project book for the fair, and there's some embroidery and cross stitch, which I've never done either one. I've never done cross stitch because um, I can't see that well, and I don't feel like I'll be able to see the little squares that well, well enough to know what I'm doing. But um, I decided to do just some embroidery. So this is kind of a stitch sampler practice piece. And so I started off by tracing my hands. I had Dakota to trace my hands. And then I just started filling it in with things I like. You can see that um, there's Phoebe. And then a chicken. And cake, of course. I love cake. <laughs> and so I just filled that in with little things that make me happy. Watermelon makes me happy. So it's just practicing stitches and things like that. But this is my first time to ever try any kind of embroidery type thing. And so um, I think what I'm going to do is get a 10 by 13 frame and just frame this because it's my first piece to ever do. And then enter it in the fair as that because it would need to be framed to enter in the fair. So um, that's all my projects for today. And I have lots of projects in the works that um, I just have, you know, probably a little bit to go to get them finished up and such. I have so many projects in the works. <laughs> like, I'd be embarrassed to even tell you how, exactly how many. But I like having a lot of projects going on because I could change to different projects throughout the day and not have to just, um, you know, look at the same color all day long. So I work on this project for a little bit and work on another project and eventually they get finished. And so I'll be back to show you more finished projects in the future. Right now, um, things have just been a little different at our house with everything going on and um, my health issues that I've been having. Um, every day is different. You know, I never know day to day how I'm going to wake up, how I'm going to feel or what that day is going to bring. And so um, there's a lot of things that need to be done in our house, but I haven't, um, I don't have any loom knit videos right now, but I will in the future. I'll have some, so come back to check those out. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and enjoying our visit together. And I will see you all later. Have a great day.